He wants to know if you've been watching someone called Tad O'Malley on the net. Apparently, he's reached out to us from the FBI. Oh, hold on. I'm bringing him up. It comes down to this. It's a mainstream liberal media lying to you about life, liberty, and your God-given right to bear firearms. Why would I watch this jackass, Scully? 9-11 was a false flag operation. It was a warm-up to World War III. Simply the energy of the universe. You're talking about free energy? That we've had since the 40s. No fuel, no flame, no combustion. A simple electromagnetic field. Technology kept secret for 70 years while the world ran on petroleum. Oil companies making trillions. What I'm going to show you next is the most unbelievable part. drive but how element 150 unan penti scully listen to me i've been misled we've been misled Mulder, hold on a second no just just listen to what i'm saying or what if everything we've been led to believe in is a lie what if there is no alien conspiracy of course you weren't even close warring aliens lighting each other on fire and other such nonsense i was being cleverly manipulated and what brings this new clarity I saw an ARV running on free energy. I saw it disappear. That's what they all seem to do. But the technology exists. It's existed since Roswell, and it's been in use, being used on humans in human testing, the taking of men, women, and children that's misreported as alien abductions. Alien technology being used against us, not by aliens, not with aliens, but by a venal conspiracy of men against humanity. I'm wasting my time. What are the tests for? A man of medicine. I didn't know how my work would be used. The lies are so great, Mr. Mulder. The truth must be unassailable. And let me tell the world. They'll make a mockery of us. And let me take that bullet. Roswell, that was a smokescreen. A government hiding, hoarding alien technology for 70 years at the expense of human life and the future of the planet. Driven not only by corporate greed, but a darker objective. The takeover of America. And then the world itself, by any means necessary, however violent or cruel or efficient, by severe drought brought on by weather wars, conducted secretly using aerial contaminants and high-altitude electromagnetic waves in a state of perpetual war to create problem, reaction, solution scenarios to distract, enrage, and enslave American citizens at home with tools like the Patriot Act and the National Defense Authorization Act, which abridge the Constitution in the name of national security. The militarization of police forces in cities across the U.S., the building of prison camps by the Federal Emergency Management Agency with no stated purpose, the corporate takeover of food and agriculture, pharmaceuticals and healthcare, even the military in clandestine agendas to fatten, dull, sicken, and control a populace already consumed by consumerism. And I encourage you all to go shopping more. A government that taps your phone, collects your data, and monitors your whereabouts with impunity. A government preparing to use that data against you when it strikes. And the final takeover begins. The takeover of America. By a well-oiled and well-armed multinational group of elites that will cull, kill, and subjugate. Happening as we sit here. It's happening all around us. The other shoe waiting to drop. It'll probably start on a Friday. The banks will announce a security action necessitating their computers to go offline all weekend. Digital money will disappear. They can just steal your money? Followed by the detonation of strategic electromagnetic pulse bombs to knock out major grids. What well, will seem like an attack on America by terrorists or Russia. Or a simulated alien invasion using alien replica vehicles that exist and are already in use.